Hey everyone, it's me Peter Singh here at 401 Dixie Hyundai with another review today on a brand new 2024 Hyundai Kona N-Line Ultimate that we just got available in stock for sale here. I'm going to be going on this vehicle today, going on the exterior and the interior, all of the features of this vehicle so you guys can get a good deep dive as to what this car is all about. Now, what? First thing, let's get started, the Kona. What is this car? This car has been a crossover subcompact vehicle for the last four years, starting in 2019, 18, and they have redesigned it fully for the 2022 model year. As you take a look at the front of the car, you can see this massive LED light strip that spans the whole front fascia of the car. I really like this new look of this vehicle, and it really stands out from the crowd when you're on the road because it is so unique, and it does look really futuristic. Coming down to the front fascia of this car, you can see back to the front fascia of this car, we have your parking sensors and your 360 view camera. As you can see, this car does actually have active aero. Wow, I didn't know that about this one. These flaps do open and close if need be to increase aerodynamics and uh, uh, cooling to the engine. And you do have your parking sensors right over here uh, that are integrated into the, the black fascia right there. You do get full LED headlights and low beams on this car because it is the online ultimate, so you do get all the nice features uh, that Hyundai has to offer. This car is in the Atlas white color, so it definitely looks really nice and sharp, and I wanted to show you the white one so you can see the different angles and um, design of this car a little bit better. It is a little bit dirty, so uh, just mind that you. Um, take a look at the quick wheels. I want to show you these 19-inch wheels that are really big and really nicely designed as well. They are sitting on 235, 45R19s, and uh, they are machine finished as well. And you do get your N logo, and this car does have locking wheel nuts as well, so no one steals your wheels. Now, coming to the back of the car, as you can tell, this car has been completely redesigned with a lot of cool uh, fixtures and new elements to it. One thing I love is the dual deck um, split spoiler and this car has. Uh, looks like the Kona N from the previous version. I really like how they look and I like how they put the, the reverse brake light right into the middle of the uh, uh, lighting area right there. Coming around to the, the side of the vehicle, you can tell it has that new parametric body line design that all the new Hyundais have, including the Tucson, the Elantra, and now this car. Um, to take a look at the actual door panels over here, you have your wireless key remote entry. You just put your finger on that and it'll unlock. It does have a little uh, bumpers that needs to be removed because it is still in shipping mode. Um, let's take a look at the inside of this car. I feel like that's enough for the outside. Oh, more parking sensors over here. 360 coverage on this car, sensors and cameras that you can see all around with. Let's go take a look at the inside of this vehicle. I really want to show you how clever they've made this new interior with the uh, sports models. Coming into the interior of this car, I, I can't wait to show you more about it. Taking a look at the actual door panel itself, you do have a little bit of a leather insert over here, right on the where the door handle area is. And you do have your passenger side lock system and your window controls, right? This car does have the, the Bose sound system right over here as indicated. And it is eight speakers with a subwoofer in the back and it sounds fantastic. Taking a look at the seats, um, they are a leatherette uh, mixed with a suede Alcantara material and they do have this red accent and the red lead uh, stitching that makes it look very premium. Coming into the inside of the car, I am very nicely able to fit into this vehicle. I'm going to give it a nice close. Pretty, pretty solid sounding door pocket there. It does sound premium and a nice and uh, um, loud when you do close that thing. It makes you feel like more of a luxury vehicle. Um, taking a look at the steering wheel itself, we have a leather wrapped steering wheel on this model and your end, end line badging as well. And you have your red stitching as well, which looks really cool. This one does have the paddle shifters on this particular model, which you can roll through the gears up and down over here. Um, so that's nice to take a look at there. 
you have all your driving assistant controls on the left hand side over here so you know your adaptive cruise control your highway driving assist and your lane keep assist is all over here and then over on the right hand side you have all your media controls like your bluetooth your answering phone calls and your favorites button they have gotten rid of the H, H branding here. They're, they put this Morse code here now for the H, but that's something new and, and different that they have on this particular model. Taking a look at the drive mode selector, they have changed it from, freed it up over here and they put it over here. It is one of these little turn knobs that, you know, forward to drive, backwards to reverse, and then you push in for park. Uh, so that's nice and clever. I like that. It does feel very sturdy as well. Um, the, the start button, pretty straightforward. Engine start, stop, foot on the brake, click that button. It fires up that, that engine, that 1.6 liter turbocharged engine, which is really smooth. Look at that display, guys. That, those two 12.3 inch displays are massive and they are very clear, very intuitive to use. They are very high definition as well. And they do use the new software that Hyundai has in the newer models for their infotainment. Uh, so a little bit similar, but it looks a little bit more crisper, a little bit more um, futuristic. And you have all your basic com commands in there. Um, taking a look at the center area here, we have all your shortcut buttons that are right over here that show everything. You have your climate controls right underneath it with a little bit of rockers. I love rockers. They, they're so easy to use and really uh, fun to play with. <laughs> uh, you have all your seatbelt controls there. You have two USB-C chargers. So that is new for this particular model. Uh, one is for charging and when one is for media. You can just shift through that uh, from there. You do also get a 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter for uh, if you're doing any smoking. And you do have a wireless charger as well that goes right over here. Your phone just sits right here. It is nice and uh, rubberized so it doesn't roll around. This car is so cool because it does have two levels of heated steering wheel. That's something I've not seen in any car in this segment. So level one, level two is right over there. It does have your heated seats, three levels, and even it has cool seats. It has cool seats in a... Uh, crossover from Hyundai. That's something that you have not seen in any of the other auto ma manufacturers. I'm not going to say any names, but they don't have it. I've checked. I've checked twice. Um, so that's super cool with that. You do have your drive mode selector right over here as well. So you just change your modes and and it'll change actually where you're, if it's in normal sport or snow. Uh, I, I'm going to put it into sport mode just to show you how it changes the gauges a little bit up there. It just makes it a little bit more red, a little bit more um, sporty there. And it does give you a nice um, RPM meter and it shows you exactly how many revolutions are going. As you can tell, this car does sound pretty nice. I don't want to rev it too much, but I <laughs> get into too much trouble. Turn signals to have the blind view monitor, so you click that. It actually shows you what's in your blind spot before you even make the turn so you never have to look over your shoulder and the right side also does the same it just replaces the tachometer this one does have 360 view camera is accessed with a button in the middle there and you get a nice super big rear view with a very nice 360 view and it gives you trajectory as well so as you turn the wheels it gives you lines as to uh, where everything is going to be going this car is so easy to park i promise you when you're in costco walmart wherever you be this thing will be so easy to park for any type of driver level um, taking a look more at the actual front area this this car does they have the the red accents that go along this whole vehicle to give it more of that sporty that that top of the line premium feeling um, let's take a look at the actual upper area of this car you have a massive sunroof on this particular model uh, it is power folding obviously uh, one touch does all of the job and you can see it's a very big opening I could get my whole hand here I can get a chicken in there as well if I needed to and it is one touch closed and it and the uh, the cover as well is uh, motorized so you don't even have to touch the the power shade so it all it does it all for you Looking at the middle area over here, you do get these cool cup holders that kind of extract when you when you push that button, or you can close them in if you ever want some more area to put some nice big, I don't know, like a bag or some glasses there, or if you want to open it up for cups to do that. A little bit of center storage area and a little bit of a cubby for a little knickknacks and, you know, maybe some gum or some... Uh, um, breath mints or something like that. You do get a little bit more storage underneath there as well. 
just uh, lift that little uh, that lid up. That's it for the front of this car. I don't want to go over everything because I want to leave a little bit of mystery for, you know, everybody that wants to come in and actually take a look at this vehicle with one of the sales reps here. Let's take a look at the back seat of this car and how big it is. I'd love to show you the rear leg room of this vehicle, which has been greatly increased. Let's turn it off. Let's get to the back seats and let's show you more what's going on over there. Wow, look at this back seat. There is so much room back here, and I love these seats. The material that they use is fantastic. Once again, really solid sounding door, especially with the thunk there. Uh, this car does have the Alcantara seats right there, so they're nice and uh, perforated, so they do feel really cool. Uh, that's, that's something I didn't notice about this car. And you do also get your fold down cup holder right here. You got two here, you got two in the uh, in the door pockets as well. So, you know, all your passengers in the back, whether the kids, whether your friends, are gonna be well hydrated. Uh, one thing that's cool about this car, they put two USB-C chargers. So Hyundai is adapting the new USB charging standard and uh, USB-C is obviously high, high, high voltage, faster charging for all your, you know, your phones and your tablets. You do get one map pocket uh, on the passenger side, not on the driver's side. You don't want to bug anybody on this side, but it is there for uh, some extra storage. And as you can tell, I'm five foot seven and a half, and I have more than enough headroom, more than enough shoulder room, and more than enough knee room to be comfortable in this car for longer trips, especially when I'm going out to the beaches in the summer months. Let's take a look at the rear trunk area of this car, and let's wrap up this review. Now, one thing I did, forgot to mention is you do get your rear windshield wiper on this car and the backup camera. It isn't a power opening mirror, uh, power opening trunk, but it does have the hydraulics to get that nicely and easily opened up. Taking a look at the car cargo area here, you have a massive area with a lot of storage and you do get a little bit of under trunk storage. This particular model does not come with a spare tire. Um, it only comes with your tire mobility kit. This has a uh, gel liquid that fills your tires in case you get a, a puncture. You get a little bit of a storage area for all your knickknacks in here. And uh, you do get your subwoofer, which is a right mounted into the back there. So the Bose sound system, eight speakers, you get a subwoofer mounted in the back. If you do want to ever get some extra storage on this car, you just take off this partial shelf like that, like that, put this lower, and then you can drop down these seats. Now, when you drop down these seats, you have all the storage that you could ever want. I could easily lie down in there. There's, you could put a piano in there, you could put a TV. Remember guys, this used to be a subcompact crossover. It is now pushing closer to the Tucson level SUV sizing. So this is completing up market in the Hyundai brand and other brands as well. That's it for the review guys. I feel like I've talked enough about this car. I'm gonna go put this partial trip back. Uh, my name is Peter and I work here at 401 Dixie Hyundai. I would love to help you guys get your next vehicle. Please give me a call. I'm always here. Follow me on Instagram. My channel is uh, Days with Peters. Call me, text me. My cell phone number is 647-642-7252. I always pick up and I'm always willing to help out my customers. That's everything for today, guys, and I hope you have a great day. Bye for now. Hey guys, so now we're on to the driving portion of this vehicle, of this video, sorry. And this is my favorite part of the show. Uh, this is when I actually put this car into drive and stretch its legs. Now, right away, you know, there's something that you gotta get used to is the drive mode selector. So it's super easy to do, foot on the brake, twist it forward, and it indicates that to you it's in drive. And it also shows you on the screen. And now we're in drive mode, and we can let go of that brake and move it forward. The display is really clear. I really like that the, the, the display has all the, you know, pertinent information that you need that, you know, your, your speed, your RPMs, the way that they, they showed it in the point decimals, it, it really shows you exactly what your engine is doing. It actually shows you as well how your tires are actually moving within the, uh, the gauge cluster. I guess this car is considered to be a uh, utility vehicle of some sort, so they did give you a little bit of added uh, functionality there for this car. I'm signaling left here and the, uh, my blind view monitor has been activated so it knows I'm, so I know that I'm cleared for a little bit of extra uh, visual there. 
giving it a drive super smooth it's it's nice and quiet in this cabin i don't hear feel any road vibrations and i don't hear any crazy noises so that's really nice about this car right obviously i'm in normal mode right now but you can shift through the different drive modes over here right you're gonna i'm gonna put it into sport and there it is now it's in sport mode it changes up the display it makes the steering wheel a little bit more stiffer for that sporty feeling you know that way when you're on high speed maneuvering that you have a little bit less give on the steering wheel so it's more precise uh let's go over this speed bump wow i do not i did not feel much of that this car absorbs those impacts really well obviously Obviously it's higher off the ground putting my foot down and giving it a little bit of a go uh, that was those that turbo really spools up you got to get you got to let it spool up and, and give it uh, a little bit of time but once it kicks in you can definitely feel all uh, 195 horsepower uh, that this car has uh, so that's really nice uh, super smooth over the bumps I'm gonna give it a nice little on throttle rip here uh, once I get past this stop sign signaling left on throttle give it a little push and wow, right away I'm in a speed limit that would get me into big trouble with the wife and the kids. Uh, so yeah, this the sport mode in this car, I mean, it's not the fastest, most craziest car like the Kona N from the previous generation, but it's more than enough kick to get you on the highway merging, uh, to get you to work on time when you're running a little late or, you know, to get to Walmart when the bananas are on sale. This is the perfect car for that type of stuff. Um, just feels super smooth in every mode, especially sport mode. I love the uh, the way that it, the, the driving characteristics change on this car. Speed bumps, I mean, over sport mode, they get a little tough, so that's something to keep in mind. But generally speaking, you know, I like to drive this ca car in, in normal mode, uh, and it does have you know the sport mode and the snow mode as well. If you ever need that, right here in your drive mode selector, and you can actually lock the differential as well. So if you're ever stuck in mud or something, that's how you get out of a, a, a stuckage. Other than that, I'm going to park her up. I think, oh, there's a spot right over here. I am going to reverse it in. That way you guys can see the actual blind view monitor. So once again, foot on the brake, uh, twist it downwards this time. And you can see that glorious big display there with your trajectory. This car is so easy to park. I don't even have to look out the window. I just look at the screen and, you know, I got a little bit of uh, uh, noise there as well. Um, but I know I'm clear because the blue is... Uh, where I need to be and wow once you click that button it gives you a 360 view of the car now that is super cool I guess not many manufacturers offer that I mean maybe the German cars do but the economy brands I don't think they have that option but look how easy it is to park this car I literally just saved myself so much time by not looking so much effort by not t turning my head making it so easy to park that's all for the review guys today i hope you enjoyed this review with me and my climber guy um you know always like follow and subscribe to my channel on youtube here in my days with peters or always give me a phone call or text at any time at 647-642-7252 that's all for today and you guys have a great day catch you on the next one peace